Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel. I had a request today from the community for some help on how to get George to fire Hellfires at targets. About the only thing I can get George to do is fire on targets, so I thought I'd throw together a quick video discussing that. For this video, I'm going to be skipping my members only status. Uh, most of my new videos will be members only for a couple of days before I make them public, but since this was a request from the community, I'm making it public now. Uh, a couple of quick disclaimers. First, I am not an expert on the subject. Uh, if you want a more in-depth view, I would recommend going to uh, WAGS or the Eagle Dynamics official YouTube channel or Casmo TV to get a deeper understanding of this uh, subject. This is hopefully going to be a more technically concise, very specific uh, video about just how to get George to fire Hellfires at targets. And because of that, I'm going to assume that you know how to pilot your helicopter and how to do all the other things. We are going to talk about controls a little bit, but I'm going to gloss over anything that's not really directly related to this subject. Uh, so what I have going on in my mission, or in this video, is I've put a helicopter in with 12 Hellfires on it just to save a little weight. I don't need all 16. And I have some targets at a distance. And I've got a tank, an APC, uh, some AAA, a truck, and a Jeep, just to show the different um, how, the, how those different target types show up in the context menus. Once you get these concepts a little bit, what I would recommend doing is doing exactly this, but just putting fuel trucks out there. Putting 16 Hellfires on your chopper, putting 16 fuel trucks out there far enough apart that they don't blow each other up and just practice uh, working these menus. Cause really it's all about working the menus and flying the chopper. Uh, if you're the pilot um, having George fire at targets. Okay, so let's jump in here real quick and I'm gonna get the chopper set up. If I can do it without, I should, I should fly a little bit and trim it out before I start doing this stuff, but I don't. So let's go ahead and out of habit, I'm going to waz the gun and unsafe. All right, let's pause real quick. What we're going to be talking about, one, one of the things that we need to understand is the line of sight reticle and the cued line of sight reticle. So this cued line of sight reticle is looking off somewhere right now. We don't really care. And this line of sight is following our eye hats around and looking where we want to look. And the trick with George is just getting him to look at the targets. Now, in the real helicopter, if you've got a human CPG and a human pilot, the CPG can slave the TADs to the pilot line of sight. So that's a real thing that you would be doing if you were a human CPG pilot combo. The pilot would say, hey, I need you to look over here. The CPG would slave the TADs over there then would unslave, look around and say, okay, I'm, I'm on it. And then the pilot could go around looking elsewhere. Um, now, I don't know exactly the cadence that would happen in real life. I'm not a real life pilot, but it's something along those lines. So uh, we, we are going to be using that a lot. The other thing that we're going to talk about real quick, whoops, um, is the helper menu. And we need to talk about the controls real quick before we jump into that. So anytime you're in the H64 and you jump into the controls, it's going to default to the pilot, which is fine for now. We want to scroll down in the secondary menu to George AI Helper, and you need these two buttons mapped. The first one in the list is Consent to Fire. Now your controls may be different, but this is just a simple push button is all it needs to be. It can be on your keyboard. I'm using my landing gear warning silence button on my Thrustmaster Warthog Hotas throttle. The George AI Helper interface show hide i'm using my autopilot engage disengage on my throttle next we want to take the main menu and change it to h64d george ai helper and then you don't necessarily need this hide button but i am using my coolie hat for the down left right and up and you absolutely must have those so we're going to pause it real quick and you see down here this is our menu now because i I popped it up. I hit the show hide button, popped it up. So in the center of the circle are your short presses. Anything that pops up outside the, uh, sorry, center of the circle is the weapon he has uh, wazed. The narrow ring is short presses, and anything that's outside that circle is going to be long presses. 
um, we're not going to worry too much about that. The basic deal is we want to have him was the Hellfires, which is a left press. It doesn't really say it right here. We should have something that says like weapon change or Hellfire or something um, here. And then up is going to be look over there. Now up long gives him free fire ability. He'll just fire as much as he wants. Um, I don't use that much because he us usually doesn't uh, obey it. Um, he can on the gun. It kind of works on the gun a little bit, but I can't get him to fire the gun very much. Uh, but we're going to waz Hellfire by pushing left. And then we're going to look over here and we're going to push up. And that's going to tell him to look where our line of sight is or slave to our line of sight. And then he's going to see targets. A menu is going to pop up over here. And then we'll talk about that. Okay. So let's unpause. And we're going to tell him to waz Hellfire. Hellfire's up. Okay. That was a left press, short press. And now you can see there are some long options, but we're not going to use them. We're going to look over there and we're going to press short up. He's slaving. Now he sees some stuff. Uh, now this list, we can scroll up and down by using the same controls for this menu over here. We use up and down over here to go through these targets and tell him what we want him to shoot at. If we press left, it'll back out of this menu and we'll have to tell him to look again. If we press uh, forward, uh, sorry, right, it's going to tell him that's the one we want to shoot at. So uh, let me scroll through the list real quick. This is why I put different targets in there because they always look different. There's undefined, that's the Jeep. We got a truck, a tank, an APC, and AAA. We're going to tell him to shoot at AAA. And now, because of the limits of our pylons, we have to kind of turn in and get lined up. And you're going to see little boxes and big boxes and dash boxes and solid boxes. That's a subject that is covered very well in a Casmo TV uh, video, but we're just going to line up. I'm going a little faster than I'd like to, but we're going to line up. And as long as that box is big, we can hit the consent to fire button. It turns dashed for a second, then it turns solid again. And now we just have to fly on target so that our CPG can continue lazing the target. Now, once we get different Mavericks, you may not have to stay you shouldn't have to stay on target the whole time or flying directly at the target uh, with some weapons, but for now, that's what we've got to do. I'm going to start. I'm getting too high. I'm not flying this, this helicopter necessarily correctly. That's not the point of the video. Um, but you see the box changed, and he said laser off. He said target destroyed. So now you have to basically tell him to look over there again. You don't have to be exactly on, but uh, we're going to go with the tank. And I really want to start slowing down. That's a little better. I don't want to get too close to these guys while the tank and the APC are still up. <clears throat> okay. But now we are heading kind of at them. I can go ahead and fire here. Now, um, if you have a human CPG, you'll really want to be smooth on the controls. You can't, like, George is really good at, at uh, keeping the laser on, but a human CPG is going to have some trouble if you're, if you're just, like, bumping all around like I'm kind of doing here. This isn't too bad, but... It, it can be. So we got that. I'm going to go ahead and have him look at the APC. And fire. Uh, sometimes you'll find that he doesn't fire. And either you're out of range or you're too close. Or you've got elevation issues. And, um, and he won't fire. And sometimes it just takes a few presses to get him to fire. Okay, so now we don't really have any threats up in there anymore. Uh, another thing, you can also bring the tads up down here to see what he's seeing, but that's also a subject of a different video. So you can see it's it's pretty. It can be very very quick. You know the the uh, engaging with George with Hellfires can be extremely quick. 
And see, now there's only one target. He sees it. He automatically locks on. I don't have to tell him. We're going to fire at it and blow that up as well. All right. So that was, uh, I think, five targets up, five targets down. Easy peasy. And we can roll out and go do other stuff. Um, I was going to kind of show using the gun and things like that. But again, this was supposed to be specifically um, getting George to fire hellfires and hit targets. And that's what we have accomplished. So uh, as always, I hope it's helpful. And thank you for watching.